and Sunday nights at 9 Eastern, only on the Weather Channel. History Weather Committee. And now, your local on the 8th. The National Weather Service has issued a weather bulletin. Our local Doppler radar. Today, strong thunderstorms likely. Storms could contain damaging winds. High 88. For tonight, thunderstorms ending early. Windy, low 60. On Friday, some clouds and possibly an isolated thunderstorm in the afternoon. High 77. Our seven day outlook. Just about 20 minutes past the hour, we have live team coverage today all over the severe weather. Scott Newell is in Fort Wayne, Indiana, covering last night's aftermath. And Julie Martin will be live in Baltimore, Maryland with today's storm. And take a look at this lightning striking the Willis Tower in Chicago last night, formerly known as the Sears Tower, by the way. Amazing video. Uh, did some fact checking. You know, it's not unusual to get struck by lightning there at the Willis Tower. About, they estimate 50 to maybe as much as 100 times per year it gets struck by lightning, has never been damaged ever by lightning. Interesting stuff there. All right, you are taking a live look right now at our control room here at the Weather Channel. We call it the back row. We've got Pete, Mark, and Mark getting things under control in the control room so that we can get all the information to you out on, on the air. All right, I want to give you a quick update on the severe weather. Lots of it over the last several hours. You can see these are all the reports, nearly 300 of them, 18 of them, tornado reports, all those blue lines, those are the wind reports, lots of those. And then the watches that we have posted now include central Pennsylvania into Virginia, West Virginia, D.C., Baltimore, Philly, Atlantic City, Dover, you're all under those watches. Tracking the severe threats right now in Fort Lebanon and York counties as well as Lancaster County out until 8.30 a.m. Central, or I should say Eastern Time. Tons and tons of lightning. I picked up about 1,300 plus lightning strikes just in that cluster in the last 15 minutes. And tracking it as it moves to the east, it'll be near Mannheim uh, as you get into those areas in the next few hours. Knocking on the door, by the way, Philadelphia, 8.42. So within the next 20 minutes or so, it'll be moving into the Philly metro. And, of course, uh, around Baltimore, just to your north and west, the heaviest part of that. <coughs> I want to get you beyond today.